for celebrity endorsements. It is being changed, of course, by the Internet, and Ted Murphy knows all this too well. He is the chief executive of Isaiah, and he helps link celebrities with brands, celebrities such as recording artist Kendall Schmidt, who joins me now. You may know him from the Nickelodeon TV show Big Time Rush. Great to have you both here. Thank you. Ted, let's begin with you. Isaiah, how does it work? Isaiah builds a technology marketplace that connects brands with people who are creating content through social media. So if you're a blogger, you're a tweeter, you like Instagram or YouTube and you're creating content, you have the opportunity to actually get paid to talk about anything from makeup to cars to soda pop. Or to music. Or to music. Right. Kendall, how did you end up meeting Ted? Uh, well, we met through uh, a deal that I did with Isaiah about a year and a half ago, and when Soundamp came up, he knew what I was doing as an independent artist now because Big Time Rush was obviously signed to a major label. Soundamp. Tell Soundamp. You, so, so you got to explain what that is. So Soundamp is a way for companies to connect with artists, or not just artists, but bloggers, stuff like that, anyone who has any sort of social influence, and even fans who actually have a big, you know, social influence, and it allows them to connect and have them advertise something from their brand easier than having to go through 10 different people to do it. They can actually just connect to the person b via email and they can exchange words about what they think their tweet is worth and then they can agree upon it and then go for it. So Ted, this is almost like trying to create a, an ecosystem where word of mouth is turned into a product or a service but it uses the internet to connect people so it doesn't matter really where you are. Yeah, I mean, look, Kendall's got 2.3 million followers on, on Twitter, right? That reach, that connection with his audience is incredibly valuable to advertisers. So they are willing to pay thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars to the right people to talk about their brand and to share that product. And what happens from that is once they put it out there, it gets reshared and it gets retweeted and it gets reposted and, and favorited. And that's what the advertisers are looking for. They want to be part of the conversation. They want to be part of that social fabric. What kind of money are we talking about? How do you turn this into a business? Well, the, there's a lot of people actually making pretty good money doing this. You know, when you first start up and you've got 500 followers or a thousand followers you're gonna be making a, a couple let's of bucks. say you've got 2.2 million followers <laughs> what does someone who's got 2.2 well, million I'll let Kendall followers speak to that well, <laughs> I mean you know is, is it really I mean is it significant amount of money it's definitely significant and, and especially for me like uh, I'm doing everything independently as an artist now and so I need you're a one-person business. I'm a one-person business. So I, I know that record sales, and we all know that record sales aren't what they used to be, and that it doesn't translate to the money that an artist needs to continue their career. So for me, being independent, I need other avenues of income, and this is one way for me to get income to finish this, a mix on a song or to get a whole album mastered. And these are things that their whole, a huge company was doing, and now I need the other resources to do it myself. Does, does this get rid of the agent to a certain extent? Because wasn't the agent the person or the organization that was going to connect you with the big-time celebrity endorsements? I suppose in a way, but I, I think if something was overly complicated, I know that they would want to probably connect with someone that's, that's representing the person. But I think for a simple deal, I mean, and it's not even just one, tweet it could be you know a, a month worth of, of content you know like once a week you do something or whatever but I would imagine if it was a large thing there would be some sort of contact with representation especially with a really big artist. Ted uh, you mentioned some of the artists that uh, that you've worked with uh, Kim Kardashian uh, yeah. for example what makes someone worth being a celebrity in terms of brand you mentioned they don't necessarily have to be the artist they can yeah. even be a fan yeah, well, I, it, it's really about how big is that audience, how big is that fan base, and then what is the engagement like? You know, when, when Kendall does a tweet, it's not uncommon for hundreds or thousands of people to retweet that and, and click on it. Uh, when we did our first campaign with Kim Kardashian, uh, it was for Armani jeans, and she actually crashed the server. Uh, you know, that's the type of things that brands are, are willing to pay up for. And the, the great thing about that is that it sparks these new threads of, of conversation that you're not going to get from a banner ad. All right. I want to thank you, gentlemen, very much. So much. Congratulations. Uh, Ted Murphy, he is the chief executive of Isia. And my thanks to uh, Kendall Schmidt, the recording artist, uh, head of Tollbooth Records and yes, Soundam.